If the fighting game genre was never invented, SNK would have never existed, would they? It's another fighting game, this time with swords. From the year 2000, it's the last blade on the Neo Geo Pocket color. Last blade. That sounds like a Final Fight or Final Fantasy. Was there a first blade? And if it's the last, does that increase the chance of another one? Questions that I, well, I just don't know the answer to. Anyway, here's the opening, which looks great on the Neo Geo Pocket Color, like all of these games on the NGP. See, they are not backlit, so you do need a lot of light to enjoy them, but they are very enjoyable because it's a quick, responsive, extremely playable system. So, fighting games, which are fast games, play really well on the Neo Geo Pocket. There's a lot of them, and of course, SNK is known for fighting games. Yeah, take that! What she said, what did she say? I think she said, my foot up your ass, bitch! In Japanese, which sounds far nicer in that language. Your foot will never reach my ass, prepare to die! I'm translating. Poorly. The Last Blade was originally a Neo Geo MVS video game. It's a weapons-based versus fighting games seen by many as the spiritual successor to Samurai Showdown, also from SNK. This game on the Neo Geo Pocket Color is actually based on The Last Blade 2, which, according to Wikipedia at least, appears to have the longest subtitle ever for, for The Last Blade 2. Romance of the Bakumatsu Act 2, Swordsman of the Moonlight, on the moon a flower blooming, a petal falling. How does a flower bloom on the moon? There's no atmosphere. They've got to go back in time and fix that one. Now, pay attention. Look in the middle of this screen. That looks just like one of the spiders from the popular iPad game, Cut the Rope. It's the exact same thing. As you may have guessed, I'm not familiar with the Last Blade series, but I can tell you this game is certainly playable, and if you enjoy the Samurai Showdown series, you'll enjoy this one. They're, they're quite similar. If you're really, really into fighting games, you can probably pick up the details and subtle nuances better than I can. But they're both weapons-based fighting games from SNK, and they feel very strategic. All of the characters have different weapons, and uh, that gives them different fighting styles. It's not just a button-mashing hack-and-slash-fest. This character was by far my favorite because she's quick and has a long reach with that giant blade thing. But I got my ass handed to me by this guy who's like the Jedi master of this burning barn. I can almost make up the plot. This is my home, it may be on fire, but I live here. Please don't call the insurance company. In fact, I'll just stab you before you leave. Here's a look at the characters in the game, and if you're serious about your SNK fighters and want to take the last blade on the go with you using your Neo Geo Pocket Color, here you go. This is what it looks like. Congratulations! You have died and spilled blood on my sandals. I shall make your ancestors clean them off with their cats. Thanks again to Edgar from Alamosa, Colorado. I hear their state has mountains. He donated this game along with a number of other Neo Geo Pocket games. They've been fun. I have to admit I like the King of Fighters and SNK vs Capcom a little better than this one, but they're faster games. This one's slower, more strategic, more defensive, and fans of weapons-based combat and Samurai Showdown should check this one out. The Last Blade. And we have more translating. You have defiled my porcupine for the last time. I like quiche.
Hey now, what's this? We're in the forest of forgetfulness. Damn, I don't even remember being here. You will die. I like the color blue best. Never. You stop right there. It's Wednesday. I have defeated you a thousand times like the eagle. It is double coupon day. I must go. Buy milk. <laughs>